I'm all about a beauty look that takes under a minute, but at what cost? When I was growing up, I feel like I looked to magazines to teach me a lot about what I was supposed to be doing as a teenage girl. It was sort of like, this is the ideal, and if you can do these things, then you'll become the ideal. I remember the first time I ever learned about shaving my legs, and I remember reading a Seventeen Magazine article and like having it like by the bathtub and being like, okay, step one. I'm really about everybody being beautiful, and I think we should represent what millions of people look like. I have chronic pain and not have sex. I don't have the ability to have sex. I don't have the ability to be intimate in the way that these magazines often talk about being intimate. And for a long time when I was growing up, I'd be in the checkout line and I would see Cosmopolitan, 34 sex tips that you need to use today. And it would remind me all over again that I'm not the ideal woman. to maybe erode a little of my cynicism and learn from them. Any clothing tip that's like for real skinny people is like probably not gonna look good on me. I am really bad at cooking, so that's gonna be shitty. I also hate working out, so this is probably gonna be hard. Okay, I am on the floor of my apartment. I put a pillow down because I already feel sorry for myself. And luckily I have this foam roller that I ordered on Amazon one time at like 10.30 at night. I'm going into this as a person that never fucking works out and it's never open a shape magazine until this week. I'm literally looking at this magazine right now and it looks like she's like doing a breakdance move. I attempted it, though I was unsuccessful. I cannot feel my left arm. I have no idea if I'm doing this correctly. All I know is that my hip fucking hurts. Props to people who can work out alone at home and you yourself are your only motivation because I love having a trainer he tells me to get my shit together. Taking pictures when you're not a model or it sucks. Like I feel like you just hate every single one of them and you're trying to like channel this inner fierceness but you just come out looking really awkward. Oh my fucking God. It took me two hours to look like I am leaning against a fucking door. This look was just like something in my own closet, but I did take the Cosmo advice for if you're going out to a party, you should wear like a brighter fun colored lip. And I went with this like dark blue screen and it was a hit. I'm reading Shape Magazine right now and I turn to this page and it's like I literally can't escape it. Like Cosmopolitan, sex right on the cover, Shape, supposed to be about exercising or whatever, being a better person. And here's a whole page dedicated to sex so good. I just feel like it's not inclusive. It never fails to make me feel a little bit stupid. Like I feel embarrassed, like I'm less of a woman. When I read the Cosmo sex tips in high school, it was like, put an ice cube on his wiener. And it was like kind of funny. And now I read them and I'm like, it's like tips for guys like to tell you to stop jackhammering us. Are dudes just this bad? I don't know, I'm so concerned. I spent some time doing my Mint investing app. What's cool about it is that it like tells you what you're spending your money on too. So I was like, fuck, I post made it a lot this week. In reading Glamour just now, I stumbled upon an article that was talking about suffragettes and the work that they've done. And it was showcasing Sojourner Truth and other women of color and it was just, delightfully refreshing. Last night when I set my alarm, I had every intention of waking up early this morning, putting on some nice magazine-esque clothing, but when I woke up, it was raining, I was tired, my stomach hurt. I feel like I've completely failed today. I don't even wanna look at the magazines because I can feel them judging me. I'm loving this lip color, just loving this look in general. I have my two-tone lipstick on and I'm about to go out into the world and see what happens. Are you wearing two different colors on your lip? Yeah, do you like it? I'm kind of really a fan. I'm getting a lot of compliments on this variation of magazine look. A lot of people are like really loving it, just telling me I look really great. This is an outfit I've never put together myself and I'm totally into it. This is actually how magazines should work. Like, look to it for inspo, take what you have, make it your own. 
this week really made me appreciate the small things that I can do for myself. The best thing was where you had to recreate a look from the magazine. It actually looks really good and I never would have worn that outfit on my own. I definitely think I want to get more women involved in investing. I realize as a 20-something girl, it was not at the top of my list. When I was growing up, it was all about like how you could become thinner, how you could please your man, and like 10 ways to get beautiful skin. Those are definitely still in there, but there was also stuff about ways to stand up and advocate for yourself in the workplace. Not only have women changed, but the things that we're marketing towards women are changing. I know the editorial's trying really hard to change, but you also have to change the ads too, because those are really what people see and read and internalize. Please put more black women and plus size women and Asian women and Latinas and Indian women and Native American women in your magazines. I want to buy clothes, please. I'm really bad with my money.